I'm here to tell you, cybersecurity is not just for nerds. In this video, we let go of all of those thoughts that we all need to be in black hoodies and hack all day in order to work in cybersecurity. If we haven't met yet, I am Venetia, your cybersecurity bestie, and I simplify all things cybersecurity so that you can succeed. So today we are going to be talking about the complete opposite side of cybersecurity, the side without the black hoodie. And make sure you stay until the end because I have some really good tips for all the ladies out there who want to enter into cybersecurity. One of the biggest assumptions and probably the biggest misconception um, that is made is that only people that have a high level of technical knowledge can actually work in cybersecurity. And this is exactly that. It's a misconception. While a huge component of cybersecurity does revolve around knowing how to code and knowing how to hack and knowing how to solve technical problems and deal with technical situations, this is only a component of cybersecurity. There is so much more to cybersecurity than just this one or these few components. Overall, if I was to give one definition about cybersecurity and a career in cybersecurity, I think it would be that a cybersecurity professional is required to understand technology, the digital evolution of technical components and how this can be misused in our everyday lives. So we need to understand on the one hand how to use it so that we can move into this digital era and use technology optimally and businesses can evolve and succeed. And on the other hand, as a cybersecurity professional, the one thing that you need to know is how this technology can actually be misused. And that, I believe, is a significant component to making you a really, really great cybersecurity professional and giving you a different mindset and a different perspective on how to look at technology from a cybersecurity angle. So here is what's important for you to be able to start your cybersecurity career. Firstly, you have to understand the basic concepts of cybersecurity, both professionally and personally as well. And if you want to know all about the basics that will help you succeed in your cybersecurity career, then you should definitely check out this video where I talk all about the basics to help you succeed. So I will link it somewhere here, but go and check that out after you've watched this video. First watched this one. Secondly, on the personal side, it's very simple. You need to become and stay interested in how technology works, how digital platforms work, how information is shared and exchanged online, and how the living in the digital realm is really changing everyday life for all of us. Personally, you need to empower yourself. You need to enable yourself with the right knowledge to succeed in cybersecurity. And what that means is, what about your online safety? What about the online safety of your family and your friends? Who can you educate about cybersecurity and make them security aware when they are on social media or when they are using different platforms? How do you protect yourself online, your online presence, your digital footprint, um, your financial data? How, how do you prevent identity theft of yourself right because then in essence what that means is that you have already empowered yourself to become a cyber security professional in your own right in your own life because cyber security is going to start becoming a part of every single person's daily life how they think how they share how they communicate in order to protect themselves online so the first the step 
that is really important starts with you. And once you have developed that kind of digital hygiene mindset, then there are so many roles. There's literally a plethora of cybersecurity roles that you can explore that does not require you to be hands-on technical. It requires many different kind of mindset angles and people to think about this, the problem of cybersecurity differently um, more than what it requires technical kind of professionals. And finally, the most important factor that I want to share with you is that this is exactly how we will be able to actually combat and strengthen our defenses to be able to, to not solve, but really work against the, the problem of cybercrime and work towards this, the same kind of goal is more diversity in the industry. We need all perspectives, right? We need the perspectives of males, females, doesn't matter how you identify. We need your perspective in cybersecurity. Cyber criminals don't just look like people in black hoodies and how they look on movies. You, Someone in a cafe next to you can be a cyber criminal and you wouldn't even know it. So that's the reality. And in order for us to succeed, I think anybody in the cybersecurity industry already know that a different perspective makes all the difference when you are working with cybersecurity problems. If you are enjoying this video, you know what to do. Please leave a like and subscribe, click, click, click. It really helps my channel out. And I would love for you to share your feedback with me in the comments. What do you think about this? What do you think about being technical versus non-technical in cybersecurity? And what advice would you share with newcomers into the industry? Let me know in the comments below. And as promised, my final tips to all the ladies trying to enter the cybersecurity industry. Firstly, do you. If you are technically inclined and you want to be technical and you want to do that, there, there's a plethora of resources for you to explore in that aspect. But on the other hand, if you never ever want to be technical, you can learn the basics, understand the importance of cybersecurity and then go into a completely different angle. We need more women in cybersecurity. That's the reality. You shouldn't be afraid to enter the industry based on a stigma that cybersecurity is just for nerds because it's not. So if you enjoyed this video, then you should definitely go and watch this video over here where I give you five reasons why you should join cybersecurity today. Catch you next time, friends. Bye.